Right now, that plan for free community college is getting mixed reaction here in Middle Tennessee, where a similar statewide program starts in the fall. It does. In fact, President Obama based his plan on Governor Haslam's Tennessee promise, but a number of Republicans say the president is making one big mistake. Fox 17 Sky Arnold live from Nashville State tonight with that part of the story. Good evening, Sky. Well, guys, next fall, the Tennessee Promise will use excess lottery reserves to provide free tuition to students here at no cost to the state. Now, the president's plan, well, it's not going to come as cheaply, but it does potentially contain a difference. Some students here believe Tennessee's plan misses the mark on. Get that done now and then sign up for books. It's the first day of the semester. Okay, yes, sir. And a new beginning for Enrico Clay. I'm getting a degree in business administration. Clay is in some teen fresh out of high school, though. I'm with the Department of Correction. I'm reading this right. It's six hours. He's actually a few months shy of his 25th birthday. It's something that'll better my career. Adult students make up more than half of Nashville State, but they have fewer scholarship options. It seems like everything's tailored to individuals that have just completed high school. Even the recent Tennessee promise is unavailable to older students. Too many bright, striving Americans are priced out of the education they need. And that's why some are hopeful President Obama's plan might be different. And having such a large population of adult learners at Nashville State, something like that would be huge for the college, obviously. It would also mean a bigger price tag for a plan that's already facing criticism. The bottom line cost is the difference. GOP Executive Director Brent Leatherwood says cost is why Republicans here may support Governor Haslam's Tennessee promise and oppose the president's plan that's based on. The president's plan is going to end up costing taxpayers $60 billion over 10 years. That's a huge discrepancy compared to the Tennessee promise, which costs Tennessee taxpayers zero. Still, Clay points out that zero cost leaves no money left to help students like him. It's something I'm having to pay out of pocket. Now, another big question if the president's plan passes, what happens to Tennessee Promise? Is it still in effect? Well, that's a question the state, at least as of now, doesn't have an answer for. We're live in West Nashville, Sky Arnold, Fox 17 News.